When I was 16, I tried to become a nun again. And that time I got everyone at the convent thought that my family had came over. So my oldest sister Marie decided to make me remain at home, which meant that I wouldn't ever become a fully professional. When I was 24, I died of tuberculosis and on it, September 30th, 1897. On May 17th, St. Thomas Aquinas. I was a very rich man, but I decided to give all that money up to God and go to a monastery. I was born into a wealthy family in Italy. When I was five years old, I was sent to the Benedictine monastery, hoping to be an abbot, but the monasteries were blocked off by rebel troops. So I met the Dominicans in the faith, and I admired their lifestyle. But since I was from my rich family, my parents decided to kidnap me and send me back to the monastery. I loved writing about theology. People said that no, no one was right. No one came close to what I was writing about. I never forgot anything I read, and these abilities helped me with my best work, Summa Theologica. I also have the ability to have four people write down my thoughts at one time. When I was saying a Mass at December 6, 1273, I had a spiritual experience. After that, I grew I thought that nothing came close to anything that I wrote down from what I saw. I was smart and I had empathy, so I used those abilities towards Christ. That's why I became a saint. Thank you for listening to my story. I was born in Mexico and my feast day is on December 9th. I am married to Maria Lucia. One day I was walking and I saw this very beautiful woman. She was glowing in light. I went to and asked her her name and she told me she was the Virgin Mary. Then I was curious, but she asked me to go to the bishop and ask for a shrine to be built in her honor. Sure thing, I went to the bishop and asked him for a shrine to be built. Then he told me that I needed proof. So I went back to Mary and asked her proof. And she said, come back tomorrow for the proof. But during that day, my uncle got very, very sick. So I did not go back the next day, but two days later. And then when I got back, I asked for her forgiveness for not coming back when she wanted me to. She said it was very okay. And then she said, for the proof, you need to go to the top of the mountain and pick the roses. I was really curious because it was really cold and there was snow on top of the hill. But sure thing, when I got to the top, there was a bunch of roses. I picked them and brought them back down. She arranged them in my cloak and then brought my cloak up like that. And she told me to bring the roses to the bishop like that and drop them when I got there. And I got to the bishop and I dropped the cloak and she, then he fell to his knees in awe of what he saw, for he saw a very beautiful picture of the Virgin Mary. So he then ordered a shrine to be built in her honor. To this day, the shrine is still standing here, and my cloak is in the very top of the shrine. Thank you. The biggest. My feast day is September 17th. I grew up in Germany near the Rhine. When I was eight, my parents took me to a wise woman who taught me how to read Psalms and Latin and read it in the and I never learned how to write. I grew up to become a nun and compose songs about God, beauty, and power, as well as Mary and the Saints. I told, I told people about my visions, and no one else could see them. When I was 42, God told me to share them with others. I authored and illustrated major works of theology and science and religion, and natural healing with plants, trees, and stones. More and more people heard about my wisdom and holiness. I never took credit for myself. Everything I gave was Hello, my name is Blessed Andrew Puyan. I was born in 1624 in Puyan Province, Vietnam, and died in 1644 in Kina, Vietnam at the age of 19. My feast date is July 26th. 
When I was 12, my mother sent me to my father D. Rawls to learn more about God and strengthen my religion with him. When I was 19, I was arrested by King Madron Bull, and because King Bull did not like my religion, he told me to deny my religion, but I trusted in God and believed in him and refused to. The way I used my special gifts is I trusted in God and believed in him through everything. November 16th. When I was growing up in college, my father died, and it was a really bad atmosphere for Catholics. When I, so I, kept, I prayed to God to keep my mind off of things so it wouldn't get back. When my brother had an head, uncurable head injury, I had to stay home and watch him to make sure he doesn't do anything bad. So I, used my special, so I be, unexpectedly became a doctor instead of studying law like my father. I, I used my gifts to help people and poor people in need so they don't have to pay as much to get help.